This video will cover the topic of measuring volume with different unit sizes. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question that should also be on your page is how do we calculate the volume of a prism when we're packing it with unit cubes of different sizes? And that might not be totally something that makes sense when you read it that way, but we'll talk about it as we um, go through the video. Of course, we know that volume, um, as we define it, is something that measures the inside of a 3D shape, a box or a cylinder, um, and it measures it by how many cubes it can hold. So we often say units cubed or centimeters cubed. So for example, we might have a prism that's six inches by two inches by four inches, and we're trying to figure out how many of these inch cubes fit inside. And we have strategies that we can use to do that, right? We can find the area of the base and multiply it by the height. But for right now, I'm just going to show the visual of the cubes. And I'm going to start with my um, front dimension here, six inches. I know that each one of these one inch cubes would fit across and there would be six that could fit across six inches. If I go to my depth, right, I know that's two inches. So each one inch is what I'm measuring. And I know that two of them could fit there. And in terms of the height, right, one inch could go up one, two, three, four. I could fit four of them going up my four inch side, right? And then of course I would be able to fill all the rest of this in and figure out the total number of cubes. And if I knew that, right, we would say, well, there's six times two along the bottom. That makes the base 12, right? And if I'm using volume equals big B times H, I know my base would hold 12 cubes and there would be four cubes vertically so I know that my total would be 48 cubic inches, right? Inches that are made out of cubes, or excuse me, cubes that are made out of inches. And going back to the original question of how many cubes could fit, that means there would be 48 cubes that would fit in this prism. However, in the real world, or when we're talking about packaging, we're not always using one inch units, right? Or one unit length. So this one, I have the same shape, but now I'm trying to figure out how many two inch cubes would fit inside this. So now if I'm thinking about how many would fit across the front, right, if it's two inches at a time, and this is not drawn to scale, if there are six inches in the front, I know that I'm going to be able to fit one, two, three, right? This would be two inches, this would be two inches, and this would be two inches, right? So only three would fit across this time. Going in the depth, right, if it's two inches deep, that would take up this entire space, right? So I'd only be able to fit one there. And then if it's two inches tall and my box is four inches, I'd be able to fit one, two vertically. So it looks something more like this, right? And if I kept this going, right, I'd be able to get three across, one deep and two high if I were building it with two inch by two inch by two inch cubes which means this time, right, along the bottom, I would have three times one would be the area along the bottom. And if I think about that rule, right, of taking the area along the bottom and multiplying by the height, my area along the bottom is three, and there's two rows high, that means I'd be able to sit, fit six cubes in this shape. Even though this box was the same size as on the previous screen, because I'm packing it with something that is larger, I'll be able to fit fewer, right? So I'd be able to fit six cubes this time as opposed to 48 before. There is another way to think about it that's not as visual, right? So this might appeal to some people um, versus the visual that appeals to others. And that's that the volume of the original box was six by two by four, right? And if we do the volume, we know that it should hold 48 cubic inches. But the small cube is two by two by two. So that small cube itself is eight cubic inches. And if we take our 48 and we split it by eight, we will get the same six that I got with my visual. So that's just another approach. All right, let's look at the same box, but this time let's fill it with smaller cubes, right? One inch by one inch by one inch cubes. So I can tell already that I'm gonna be able to fit way more because the cubes themselves are smaller. So if we think about how many will fit along the bottom here, right? If each one of these is only one half inch, I'm gonna be able to fit 12 across the bottom because they only take up half an inch each, right? And two halves would equal that whole um, as I count up towards six. And again, if I have half an inch deep, 
right, this way, and I think about how many would fit along my two inch depth, I'm going to be able to fit four in that direction. And if each one of these is half an inch high and my box is four inches tall, I'll be able to fit eight of these vertically. So let me just write those numbers in here so I don't forget. And I'll try to sketch a little bit. It's gonna get a little messy here in my space. Okay, so it ends up looking sort of something like this, right? That's a lot of little cubes, one inch, one half inch cubes in there. So again, I know along the bottom, right, there's 12 across and four deep. So I know that there's gonna be 48 just on that bottom layer alone. And I know that if there's 48 on the bottom layer and there are eight layers of those, then this cube is going, or this box is going to hold 384 cubes, all told. So 384 cubes will fit in here. That's a lot more than maybe we expected. And remember, there's the non-visual way to calculate this as well, right? And that's remembering that this box is 48 cubic inches. And we know the small cube is one half by one half by one half, which works out to be a one eighth cubic inch. And if we do the calculations, if we take our 48 inches cubed and divide it by our 1 8th that each one of these tiny cubes is measuring, we would in fact get 384 cubes, just like we did with our visual. So two ways, same answer. For your turn, I've changed the shape slightly here, but I'd like you to figure out how many of these two inch cubes will fit inside this box. And you can use either method to show your thinking um, and be sure to figure out how many cubes that are two inches in every direction would fit in this rectangular prism. And remember the essential question was how do we determine how many um, unit cubes of various sizes would fit inside um, the volume of a 3D shape? Be sure to have your notes and any questions as we review this more together in class.